Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing my February favorites. Um, it's not going to be a huge, like, um, favorites really. Uh, I'll use a lot of the same products as I used in, um, January. So, there's not too many new ones that I have been really loving that are new, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't really have any, like, new TV shows or music favorites. I've kind of been doing a lot of, the, listening to the, a lot of the same stuff. Actually, really and truly, I haven't had a lot of time to listen to music, so I haven't really put any new stuff on my iPod for that matter. And as for apps, I'm still not, don't have any internet, so I'm playing basically the same exact games and using the same apps. So those are all uh, not valid in this video. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna have a few beauty favorites and then um, a couple of food favorites. So literally sh should be pretty short. All right, let's get started. So my first one is the e.l.f. pressed powder in the color porcelain. And I showed this in my haul, and I really, really like it a lot. And I do definitely find that I've seen a lot of difference um, in, like, the shine on my face and stuff like that in videos and photos and all that stuff. So this is what this looks like. Just a really, really light pressed powder. And uh, as I showed in the last one, it does come with a brush, but I don't use it. Like, you just flip it. Come on back out. <laughs> Anyways, you just flip it around and there's like a little brush in there, but I don't use the brush. What I do use with this is my Kabuki brush. I really, really love this brush. It's super soft and it just evens out the powder amazingly. So this is the e.l.f. Uh, Kabuki brush. Just look like that. And it's a pretty awesome brush. Like I said, it's pretty soft. The other thing I've been using a lot since when I put my makeup on is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set with Aloe Green. Sorry, aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. And I really like this. I definitely find that it has uh, got my makeup, like, staying a lot better. Like, longer, I guess. And, like, I don't find that it, like, runs or smudges or I lose any mascara or anything. Like, I, I, some people will put their foundation stuff on and then spray this. I don't really like doing that. I find that makes my foundation a little cakey. But... I guess technically you're still seeing my foundation uh, like in some spots where I haven't put other stuff like eyeshadow or blush. But I don't know, I just find it kind of runs a little bit and whatnot when I just do the foundation. So I like to do my entire face and then spray this and it keeps on everything. Like even my lipstick, which I realize you're not really supposed to spray this like around your lip area, I guess, or whatever, because it's probably not good to eat. <laughs> But uh, I don't spray like immense, I just spray it quite quite far away from my face like that and then spray it and I just do like, four little spritz. So it's really good, I really like it. My next one is from the my Clinique uh, top box and this is the Clinique Repair F Laser Focus for wrinkles and UV damage corrector. I've actually, I only use this when I'm actually um, doing my makeup. I probably should be using it more, but it's kind of something that ends up in the bottom of my makeup bag, and I guess you could say I could forget about it the rest of the day, or the rest of the week, but uh, every weekend when I do my makeup and stuff like that, I uh, always remember to put this on, and I actually, I've used it quite a few times now. I'd say the past, I'd say since I got it, so this would have been January's top box, I'm pretty sure, right? So ever since I got it, I've been pretty much using it every weekend. And uh, yeah, I really like it. I do see a little bit of a difference in my cheeks, although you guys can't see it now because I'm wearing concealer, but um, I have noticed quite a bit of difference in my cheeks. And um, if they are a little, like the redness is starting to go down and, and it's not quite as bumpy on my face and stuff like that. So that's really good. And um, so yeah, I really like this. I definitely recommend it. I don't really know what it does for wrinkles. I have been putting it under my eyes. Uh, see maybe if my bang, the bag under my eye would just, like maybe tone up a little better. And I haven't really noticed much on that. And I don't really have a lot of wrinkles. I'm pretty young, so I don't really get your wrinkles yet. But uh, definitely for UV damage, I have been noticing a slight uh, difference for sure with this. So definitely recommend it. And the, this is the one I got with the Clinique box, so it's just a little sample. Um, I don't know what the original even is. If you go back to my top box, I'll actually, I'll link my January top box down below if you want to hear more about this product. Um, and if you'd like me to do a review on on any of the stuff in the Clinique box or so far that you've seen or what you've seen period in this video, please leave it in the comments below or tweet me and I would be glad to do that video for you guys. So my next favorite is the e.l.f. blush 
in twinkle pink and you guys might remember when I got this uh, I showed it in my collective haul that I said how sparkly it is and when you first look at it in the packaging it is seriously immensely immensely sparkly but I'm actually wearing it today and it's a pretty subtle color um it's not super sparkly at all when you put it on your face um I guess maybe just with the brush and stuff like I just use a big fluffy uh blush brush to put it on I guess it just kind of like spreads it out so it doesn't it's not like woo, really sparkly because I don't even know if you guys are gonna see this but if you can like it is super sparkly it's like this goldy sparkle and it's like a ton of it in there but it's a really pretty color and I really like it it just gives my cheeks a bit of a pop of color so I've really been liking that um next the one that I've really really loved this is the Maybelline New York Eye Studio palette in the color Sapphire Serene and I really love this let's open it up so I don't blind you guys um I really really love this these color combinations together they're beautiful I wore this actually in either it was a lot uh, not the last one maybe the one before that I wore this palette this whole collection and I really really like it it's super pigmented it's really pretty and it I do find that it did last quite a long time like pretty much all day um, without any smudging or running or any of that type of thing um, and it wasn't like flaking off or anything either so I love it and uh, I definitely recommend these. These are really great. Uh, I really love this color too and I was thinking I might go back and get some other colors although I do notice that there's a lot of like um, nude-ish type ones or like really bright ones like red. I don't wear red a lot so I wouldn't buy those ones but I really love this one so awesome. Um, another, I have two more beauty favorites. The first one you guys have already seen in my last favorites but seriously I have loved this so much. I've used it Every time I do my makeup, um, I use the, this is the uh, Maybelline New York Rocket Volume Mascara. Seriously guys, amazing. As you guys know, I have very small eyelashes and this makes them so good. And it does definitely, um, like if you put it on and then like let it dry a little bit and then put it on again, it definitely lengthens them more and more as you put it on. So awesome uh love it obviously you guys you do have really pretty eyelashes you probably don't even like this or need to use it but it is amazing for me so i definitely had to put it in this favorites as well because i just i can't get enough of it it's awesome and the next one i haven't actually even showed you guys because uh i'm going to be doing a collective haul very soon i've got a ton of stuff that has come in i'm waiting for one more thing that i wanted to do um but this month is going to be a little busy, so you might see products that you guys haven't seen either in a haul or anything yet because I'm probably going to be using them. Um, but next weekend, um, I don't know what's going to go up exactly. I know I'm going to be doing my top box either probably this weekend and then I'll probably upload it during the week. And then I'll also be doing a St. Patrick's Day outfit of the day and Easter outfit of the day. So those are going to take up a lot of time in my weekend. So I don't know when I'll get the collective haul, but when I do, it might, it'll either be the very end of, of, um, I guess February is over. This is now actually into March. It'll either be the end of March or it'll be middle of April because I'll also have to do my March favorites and then my March top box. So it might be either mid or end or maybe the end of March or middle of April. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm also going to be going to see my parents probably in April too. So uh, there might be some vlogs maybe. You never know. Um, me and my brother probably will plan something to do there. We might be it might, might work more on his channel come then because um he doesn't have a ton of content right now and told him we totally have to like do some like Minecraft or something and record it on his channel. But anyways, let's get back into the favorites now that I've completely like rambled on. And I totally said to myself when I, before I did this video that I was not going to do that because I wanted to make this video short. But I'm really, really sorry, but I really wanted to explain that guys, that to you. So again, this is one of my new products you guys have not actually seen yet, but I really, really love. I've used it quite a few times now. Uh, I think I wore it in my last video if I can't remember properly, but this is the a an Av another Avon lipstick. Again, I have no idea what the name of this is. I know that it's called... <sighs> it's... Uh, totally something. 
Again, I'll link it down below, you guys, and you, I'm really, really sorry. I'm so bad with remembering what my, what lipsticks I got from Avon, but this is an Avon lipstick. It says uh, right there, actually, Avon. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's really shiny, but I love this color. I, this was from their Kissable line. That might be what it was, totally Kissable. That, I think that could be what the name of this was because it was from like their Kissable line or whatever. Um, it was from Valentine's Day, obviously, uh, but it's just really beautiful, like bright pinky red and it's really not doing justice on this camera at all. Uh, probably the lighting in this room, but it is a beautiful, beautiful, um, bright pinky red color and it's amazing. I'll actually just swatch it. I don't know if this is even going to work. Um, it might still look terrible. Yeah, it does. It looks more orangey when I put it on my hand now. Oh, uh, the lighting is so bad in here, seriously. Can you see that? Try. Yeah, it's still coming up kind of really orangey. It's not. It's a really bright pinky red color and it's beautiful. The formula is creamy. It goes on nicely. It stays on all day. It's just, it's amazing. I really, I love it so much. So... Uh, yeah, so I did get a whole bunch of Avon stuff. Um, this is one of them, but I really had to show you this because I really, really loved it this month. I've worn it quite often. I know I did wear it in my last video. I'm almost positive I did. All right, so moving on to my food favorites, and then we're basically done. So my first food favorite, you guys probably believe you've already seen this in my last video, but I found a new flavor, and I really love this flavor. These are the... Uh, rice thins baked not fried uh, brown rice crisps um, this is in the flavor smoked bacon and gouda flavor like seriously amazing I love these things like I said you guys did see these I'm pretty sure in my last favorites I had um, the white cheddar and the sour cream and onion I'm pretty sure uh, but I've tried these this new flavor and I absolutely love this flavor over way over those other two flavors and this is actually a really hard flavor to find um I found it they were like on sale in my in my um grocery store <laughs> and I grabbed it right and then ever since then I have not been able to find this flavor it must be very very popular because it is super duper good if you have not tried these you must go to your grocery store like right now as soon as you're done watching this and go get these things because they are so so good I'm I promise you anyways and the next thing also something that you guys haven't seen I did an order from hot look and you guys will see that in the collective haul what I got from there but um with my order, I got a free sample, and I really, really like it. Um, let me just pull the packaging off here. I cannot pronounce the name of this company, but it's like Gradelli. It's chocolate, and this was in the flavor milk chocolate with hazelnut crisp filling, and seriously, so good. Like, one of the best chocolates I've ever, ever had. Um... It was very creamy, very good tasting, and I loved it a lot. Um, so this is just a little cardboard came in. This is the packaging it came in. I don't, I'm thinking it must come in little packages like this, maybe in a bag, but it could come in a big bar, I'm not really sure. I haven't actually seen it around where I live yet, but I'm be honest, I don't really go down the <laughs> chocolate aisle because if I did, I'd probably buy it all. So that's not a good idea. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, it was really, really good. And I was so high excited to try this when I got it in my hot look box. So yeah, that was really nice of them. I also got a coupon for a dollar off. Um, it says anyone Gradelli stand up bag. So by the looks of things too, like it shows you a little bag in the corner there. That's why I'm thinking it comes in little packs and then it comes in this bag, but I don't really know. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below or tweet me. Um, and yeah, maybe you guys know where even where to find it. I don't know. But uh, anyways, so it's really, really good and I was really excited to try this. So that is my favorites video for uh, February. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, look forward to all the videos that I did explain or I already talked about. Um, make sure that uh, you make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to see more the uh, favorites videos and also if you do want to see any of those videos that I already explained, make sure you subscribe so that they end up in your uh, playlist or home page thing. And uh, yeah, so you guys can see them. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!